All right, lads. Welcome. I'm going to do a Pirate 101 Companion tier list. Now, this is just my opinion. I don't know why I have to say that, but that's just some, that's just an obligatory thing that you have to say on the internet. Because if you don't... Well, people will still come after you because they're just a bunch of idiots. But, okay. This is the Pirate 101 Companion PvP tier list on Tier Maker. Um, I'm not going to actually rank them for PvP. I don't really know much about PvP, but I have watched like basically all of the... Uh, the fearsome rubber duckies companion videos so i basically know everything about pvp now um so i can rank them based on that um now i'm gonna be ranking the companions based on literally every aspect so how they are in combat their looks their story -ness, um like how how cool they are uh i'm just gonna start okay I don't know. I think they're yeah. They're in actually they're actually in alphabetical order. So Argos. Now he's he's kind of a badass. He's in. Um, he was able to hold back the uh, the Minotaur. In combat though, he's just okay. He does have cut promotions. That would have made him better. A lot of the Aquila companions do. I'm gonna go with B tier. Uh, I don't know this guy's name, but he's one of those guys. I'd also give him beach here. He's one of the guys from the um, Grizzleheim pack. Uh, pack companions. Oh, brother. I don't know. I might end up just putting pack companions in the Shadow Realm. Because they're just pay to win, you know? Well, not pay to win, because most of the pack companions are just kind of okay. But, I, yeah, i will put him down. And then this guy, though, he's he's really good. Boar, or whatever his name is. Bar? <laughs> Bear? I don't know. Um, I think he used to be, like, one of the best companions in the game. But I'll put him in B, just because he has the coolness factor. This guy, also B tier. Kind of just... Uh, I like I like the Raja guys. They look really badass and they sound badass. And he his his critical attack is just him screaming, uh, and then he just slices with his kukris a bunch. Barnabas, I'm not gonna lie, Barnabas is gonna be in the A tier, baby. He's just he's just a a a dumb. Well, he's not that dumb. He's he's good. Um, let's see. I'm not going to say he, that he's a himbo because he's not super... Uh, um, but yeah, he's he's really good in combat. He gets a charge and everything. Really nice to have. And he's your, he's your uh, Gun's Will companion or Kraken Skull's companion, I think. Is what the actual game calls them. I like that they've blurred out the level of the companion. Um, Dead Mike. Oh, brother. Now, I haven't actually heard Dead Mike's dialogue in a long time, but he's one of the Presidio companions. Um, I think all of the companions that have a lot of dialogue are already going to get a higher tier just because they have a, a nice coolness, coolness factor to them. I would say he'd be in low A tier, like an A minus or a B. I'm not super familiar with what his talents are either. I know he has Riposte to start, which is kind of mid but also, like, not terrible to have on a Buccaneer because they still have, like, decent dodge. Uh, I think he can get full chains. Let me let me look at your boy Dead Mike. Pirate 101. Dead Mike. Now, I know in dialogue he's, like, kind of slow and sort of boring and, and pessimistic. But that, I mean, he is literally a zombie, so... Undead Pirate. Undead Vindicator, I think, is his last promo. He looks pretty badass. And he's literally missing an arm. Okay, so you can get Vengeance Strike 3, Bladestorm 3, and Cheap Shot 3, Second Chance 3. Um, so we get 
four epics from his promotion, so he could get seven epics. I'd give him Bladestorm 3, Venge Strike 3, and then Second Chance. So those are pretty decent. Is He would be about as good as Burgess Latro, who would also be in uh, low A tier. So I'd, I'd probably put him in, in A tier. Uh, is this Bat Masterson? Unfortunately, he's going to have to get a C tier, just because he's really mid in combat. But he, he is a uh, he is one of the Magnificent Seven, so that he does have that going for him. He gets a um, uh, he looks really sick in the puppet show. Let me see. Oh, this is gonna take fucking forever to go through. It's probably gonna be at least an hour. I might have to like take pause and take a break during it. Um. But Bat Masterson, yeah, he gets like a an absorb, which is pretty cool. But you know, he's one of those companions that just has completely lost potential. Um, and this is the Batacuda. Now, a completely basic companion. Let me let me look. Batacuda, probably below below whatever that guy's name is. Gore? I don't know. They, I think they all have like rhymes that ma names that rhyme with or. Like Ator or something. I think Ator is the privateer one. Batacuda. Companion. Companion Batacuda. I wish the beast got promotions or something and they just like got bigger. You know? Um... Get for free on Witch Doctors. Zero epics. He starts with... Oh, he can fly. That's that's pretty cool. And Vengeance Strike. He uh, can get Vengeance Strike 3, too. Not terrible. Um, I'd probably give him Vengeance Strike 3, because that's pretty badass. And then Blade Storm. Or maybe Second Chance. Yeah, that would be fitting. Vengeance Strike 3 and Second Chance. Not terrible. I'm... <laughs> Just because this guy comes from a pack and packs are retarded, I'm gonna fucking put Batacuda above this fucker. Um, D tier is like actually really bad, and then Shadow Realm is is reserved for a specific companion that shall not be named yet. And you, if you know me, you probably already know who it is. Billy the Kid, or Billy Billy the Goat, um, one of the Magnificent Seven. I would say he's cooler. Cooler than Argos, yeah. I think all the Magnificent Seven are going to be cooler than Argos because they're they're the champion, you know. But that was such an annoying fucking quest, dude. That was the worst quest in the game. At least I don't think there was any ship combat in there. What was it? Contest of Champions. God, that was such a bad quest. Oh, I hated doing that. So long and it's so useless. You all you get is one extra epic for a, com a mid ass companion that you'll never do, never use. But it's still pretty cool. Um. I think all of the Magnificent Seven can get True Grit 3. <clears throat> Let me look at Billy the Kid. He's kind of crazy. Pirate 101, Billy the Kid. Let me get a new um, soundtrack going on. No, not that one. Let's see. British combat? Where's the where's the main theme? Wait, why is there Wizard City? What the hell? Oh, Azteca. Here we go. Billy the Kid. Billy Goat Sharpshooter. He's really cool looking and he goes beep 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 boo, 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 boo. Okay, he can get Ooh! Actually, yeah. He starts off with Quick Draw. Which is really good. I would give him, let's say he gets three epics, and he, three epics on because everybody gets three epics, and he also looks pretty cool. Uh, well, I already said that. Let's see, he gets four extra epics. I would just give him double tap two and burst fire two. Yeah, give him full chains so he can go. Boo, 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 boo. 
Literally, who is this? I don't know who this is. The Bison guys? Uh, better than Bat Masterson. This Musketeer guy is pretty good, because he can get Overwatch 3. I literally have no fucking idea who that is. Let me find the Bison Ghost guy as well. I think he would be in about the same tier. But slightly cooler, because he's a ghost. Um, same thing here. Um... I think this guy's name is Skyfire. Yeah, this guy's name is probably like Sitting Bull or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what's like another Bison companion? Is there any others? Oh, um... God, there's no way I'm looking through them. Here we go, Thunderhoof? Tonka? Dude, Tonka's a badass. I never actually I never actually used him because I've never played Privateer, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put him just because he used to be El Toro's sidekick. But uh Thunderhoof, yeah, he he's actually pretty good. Uh, he's he's better than any of the uh I'll put him in B. Uh, not as cool as the Raja guy because Raja is cool. Oh uh, this guy He's pretty mid. I'd probably put him below the archer guy. Oh yeah, three scars. He's cooler than cooler than the the other ones because he's oh not three scar. That's not three scars. It's just the uh, the um, uh, black storm shaman. Uh. Yeah, D tier is basically near uh, unusable. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna pick from random. Let's see. I think this is Jim Masterson. That guy would have to get D because he's he's just Bat Masterson, but worse, and I don't think he gets a. Uh, Uh, an absorb or anything. Oh, this is Thunderhoof. Yeah, he's top of C tier. Wait, what's the difference here? Why is there... Okay, I have no idea what the difference is between these two, but I think there's... There's one... There, there's two different companions that are slightly... Slightly different in terms of stats. Um... I think one, like, doesn't get an epic strike or something like that. Yeah, it's like this guy and the other fucking Taro Momori and um, Matsumuni Goto or whatever his name is. God, there's way too many companions. I mean, there's not too many. There, there's not enough, actually. That's my actual opinion. Um, and most of them are crap, unfortunately. Oh, Ratbeard? Dude, Ratbeard is getting a solid S tier. This guy is iconic. He's probably my favorite companion. Um, he's great in PvP as well. He's kind of your defensive unit. And the man himself is a unit. But he gets he gets really good abilities. And his, his promotion quests are really cool. Um, and fun. Um... And he actually has a real character arc throughout the story. Growing into less of a blaggard. Speaking of other favorites, too. There's Bonnie Ann. Of course, everyone knows her. She's the first companion everyone gets besides the starter. She's sort of the heart and soul of the crew. And of course, she's really good in combat, getting full chains and just blasting everybody. Everybody's favorite companion, I would say, but I would put Ratbeard slightly higher because he has he has more of a character arc. And then Bonnie Ann's mid-ass cousin, whatever her name is, Blackheart. Um, she's pretty cool. 
Still, you need crowns to buy it, which is really ridiculous. These, um... These companions where you have to, like, beat the boss 25 times to get the, to unlock them in the crown shop, that's fucking retarded. You should just get them as a companion after beating them that many times. I really hate how greedy King Zell is. Anyone who disagrees with this can go suck a fat cock. Um... I literally... Yeah, if you disagree, I will actually fucking demolish you. And that's all I have to say. If you if you if if you don't think King's Isle is is like one of the most greedy game companies ever, you it's just it's just you're just factually wrong. And you're coping hard. Um Goronado Easy A. Better than Dead Mo Well, no. He's, cr he's crowns. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. Uh, I think sh uh, she's actually really good. She gets, like, multiple hits and full chains. So in combat, she's really good. But because of the crowns requirement. I mean, come on. He's freaking Gortez. He's badass as hell. And he's, like, really worth it because he's really a unique companion. Whereas this is just a clone of Bonnie Ann. Finn Dorsal, I would say not as cool as Cortez, but let's be real. He's your adversary. He's your rival. And if you beat him enough, well, he can join you. Although, you have to pay crowns. I really wish you could get him as a companion normally, you know, without having to buy him. So for that, I'd probably put him into top of B tier. Oh, there's this guy too. I think these might be the same companion, right? Is that fucking Bones McGee, dude? Um. He's pretty cool looking. Kind of mid in combat, but. Your boy Emmett, he's going all the way up to S, baby. Love that guy. Super powerful in combat, too. Um, Contessa is also getting an easy S tier. She is so broken, dude. I'm glad they added her. Such a cool companion, man. Being able to hide and backstab. That was kind of sorely missing, was a, a free universal companion for everybody that has that ability. Um, actually, I'm going to put her right behind Bonnie Ann. Oh man! Oh, your your gal Chantal Livingston. She's getting a but. Oh no, I I can't put her above Bonnie Ann and Ratbeard, but yeah, I'd say Contessa is more universal, and this is obviously a Musketeer ex exclusive. Oh, yeah, and Emmett is in the story too. I'll just go ahead and put Exeter up there in there in there too. He's broken. Chantel is probably the strongest companion in the game, flat out. Besides, you know who. Um, Nurse Quinn. Let's see. D tier. Better than uh, Jim Masterson, though, because he, uh, he he doesn't have any healing powers. Uh. Nurse Quinn could have been such a cool companion. Like, she could she could have had like a lot of heals. You know, they just gave her one though. Oh. This Armada Companion. Now, it's from a pack. So I don't think I'm going to put uh, pack companions any higher than B tier. But really good companion. You can get Overwatch 5 on it. Or you can have the same epics as Chantel herself. Also, Armada is just based on cool. Crazy Monkeystador. Let's see. Uh, this guy's okay. Probably better than, uh, better than these guys. Because he gets Overwatch 3, I think. 
Well, nah, I put him there. Um. Oh, El Toro, he's also S tier. Um, since he's universal, I'm gonna put him right behind Contessa. Actually, I'm gonna switch the music here. Oh, baby, yeah. El Toro, I mean, he's just awesome. Uh, dude, who the hell is Snarf? He's playing Starfield. Ew. I'm doing Pirate 101 tier list, buddy. Wish I could disable those Steam messages. There's probably a way to do it in settings. Catbeard, he's getting top of A tier. I can't really put him in S tier because, well, he's like S tier is for like actually meta companions, you know? Companions that are um, good pretty much in every situation. Catbeard, he is a very good chaining companion for Privateer. And he, I, I got some good use out of him on Musketeer. Um, and he does have a really good role in the story. But he's not as universally applicable or meta as these companions. <coughs> Speaking of meta, here's Fan Flanders. She's also pretty good, but not as good as these. Um, there's also Gracie. She's really good. I, I would also put her in S tier. <laughs> really cool powers. She also has a cut promotion, unfortunately. So does El Toro. Um, really fun to use. Especially on Musketeer. Uh, Buffalo Bill. He goes up there with uh, Billy Goat. But, um... I would say, yeah, he's slightly better because he has unique animations. But I think he he's like an Overwatch 3 type unit. So. Uh. Egg Shin, he's a beast. Yeah, he's probably better better than Barnabas, but I haven't seen his dialogue since I haven't played Privy. Frogo v Vila mid better than this guy though damn drake i'd probably get um better than these guys but yeah he, he's he's sort of mid i don't think he gets any abilities and he uh he betrayed you but i think witch doctors get him for free so not completely Completely cancer. Duck Holiday, yo, he's based. I mean, he's 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 based. He's your Huckleberry. Um, and he goes. Um, Armada Marine, Armada Marine. Um, again, this probably goes with. Uh, the musketeer slightly worse um just because it's not as cool as the musketeer and then the battle angel dragoon dragoon is badass and the ba battle angel is i mean she's kind of mid i would put her below um well not mid she just has flanking as her basic one um dragoon is just the coolest uh because it's a fucking dragoon Um, Crockett Gator, probably just in the same tier as uh, uh, Batacuda. Batacuda can fly, though. Let's see. Your boy, Kanpo, he's going into S tier. He always calls you Dragonfly. He's just, he's just based. And he's, he's super, super good in combat. Maybe not, like, meta on the same level as, like, as Fan Flanders or whatever, but... I, I would say, like, lower end of S is, like, less meta. So, maybe I'd put Emmett ahead of... But Emmett doesn't get a role in the story. I think I'll put... Yeah, all the non-story would go below. Chantal is definitely better. 
Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, this fucking guy. I don't know. He's from a pack. Mid. He's like a witch doctor. Uh, he looks he looks amazing. He's he is the same model as Chulka Cobb. I think that's around the same time they re released the Tribal Crew pack as well. Uh, was when they added the uh, the new storyline to Skull Island. Definitely, definitely cooler than this guy. I would say he's also cooler than these privateers. So, better than Dan Drake as well. I think, yeah, I'll put him... I'll put him up here. Just because he's he looks cool. Uh, oh, jeez, there's so many. <laughs> Rooster Cogburn. I would say he's, he's up in high B. Because he's a really solid uh, True Grit unit. And he he's free to everybody, and he gives you the best quest line in the whole game. I think, really fun. Uh, you can do bounty hunting in um, in Cool Ranch. Really fun, really fun quests. Definitely recommend it. Hercules. Um, I'm sorry, but he's going into he's going into high B. Um. Even though he has quite a bit of dialogue in the story, he is unfortunately pretty bad in combat. Um, he's not like terrible, but he's no match for the Aquila mobs who are like way better than him. <laughs> the mobs in Aquila and Valencia are like insanely hard for no reason. Uh. Hard meaning they have like eight epics. <sighs> And he only gets like five, so it's very disappointing companion combat-wise. Since he should be, he should be way stronger, and he has like three cut promotions or something like that. Craziness. I'm guessing they cut them on purpose to avoid like unbalancing him. But let's see here. I'll just put the crown shop variants of companions in the same sort of tier. Um. Yeah, I'll put them on the same level. But... Yeah. There we go. Oh god, which one do I feel like raiding? There's this ninja pig guy. I guess... I guess high V. Um... Because of the wow slash rare factor to him. You know? But... You know, he's not... I don't think he's super rare anymore, and he's not, like, crazy in combat. He just looks cool. Like, come on, he's a ninja pick. So this guy, he's probably... about the same tier as Bones McGee. How about this? I'll put this guy... here. Bones McGee... I'm just going to put these in the same tier because I honestly have no idea what the difference is between them. Bones McGee is cooler because he's undead. Yeah, and just for like making sense, I'll put the Raja guy here. I have to put I have to put Hocules in high B. He's he's low for a story companion um, because. He's just super bad in combat. Um, not bad. You know what I mean. Uh, Subodai, I'd also give him an S tier. There we go, I can scroll at the same time. Um, not as cool as Campo, I don't think. Um, he's really honorable. He, he will defend the pirate. To his last breath. He's just a complete badass. But not as uh, graceful as Campo, I don't think. Um Louis Louis. Oh, he's cool. I might put him about in that tier, yeah. Not as good as Emmett combat wise, but he's just 
he's just your average crab. No, um, he's he's pretty decent story wise. Like, pretty much just fulfills that role of the uh, like uh, crewman. I don't know, because I think yeah, all of the will companions have the same kind of lines of dialogue, at least in the same place. You know, and they all kind of serve the same function. But I, I'm I don't know what that function is exactly. Besides, like pointing things out, I guess. And you know, they they stick by you because you you technically saved their life, I guess. Even though it wasn't that much of a fight. Oh, Peter quit. Oh, he's he's a god. He's a complete god. Second to um second to Chantal. I'm going to yeah, I'm, I'll move Kaisuke Yage down there because he's for crowns. I'm going to have S tier be also free companions, I think. Um, Lucky Jack Russell, he's also up there too. Put him in high A. Um, honestly, Barney is probably better than these guys. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like he's Actually, wait. No. Barney would be up here too. With the other will companions. Doesn't he get a charge too? Egg Shin. Um, I think Subodai gets a charge. Yeah, Subodai has better dialogue, I think, from what I've heard. And then your boy Wing Chun, where is he? Up here. Yeah, he is your he is your overbearing uh, Asian parent, but uh, he's nice in the end. I feel like the Mushu guys get less dialogue as you go along, but he, he's good. Um, I'd put him probably under Kenpo. And then what's the remaining one? There's Kobe Yojimbo as well. Um, where is he? He's purple somewhere around here. Here's his crowd shop variant. Hey! <laughs> Wait, is he not here? Such a relaxing music. Cool Ranch, let's see. Um... Where is Kobe? Is he just not here? We see the EFG. Oh wait, ABC EFG HIJ JK. Milo. Should I already read him? I honestly don't see him. I don't think he's here. Unless I'm stupid. Jay Canary, she is awesome because she gets unique animations. Also, she's pretty bad. I mean, like, bad in, like, a good way. If you know what I mean. Um... 
can't see Kobe. Uh. I'll just put Wagyu in his place. That's weird that I can't find him. You'd be up there, probably le less than Subodai. But Eggshan can't be the worst, though. Yeah, all of these companions are really good. The starter companions. I would say they're about all in the same tier, and they're really close. Okay. The A tier is a really specific niche. <laughs> I've rated all like the story companions. Who's this? I think this is the crown shop variant of this guy, right? I'll put them down here. Xena? She's actually pretty good. She's badass. I'll put her in A tier. Not as cool as Gortez, though. Shark? Pretty badass. I would put him in. I would put him in C tier. I think he, I think he deserves a, a B. Just because it's a shark. Wild Bill Peacock. It's another one of the seven. He also is up there with Chain Canary. Isn't there one more of the seven? Sarah Steele. She'd probably be the worst of the Will Companions. Just because... She has that stupid-ass repel borders. Mormo? I don't think Mormo is, like, S-tier. Um... He is for Witch Doctor, though. So he'd be at the bottom of that there. Uh, Gaspard. Now, he's like the only one that I haven't really played with. But his voice... I don't want to say his voice is annoying, but you know what I mean. He's pretty niche, too. He's like... Um... He's more defensive of a Buccaneer rather than aggressive. But not like Rapier defensive. You kind of know a pat. You kind of notice a pattern here with me. Um, so yeah, I, I, you could probably like guess which where I'm gonna put the rest of the companions. Um. Trying to find others to rate. There's Lefty. He's pretty good. He's probably at least a B. Um, definitely better than Bonnie. Probably not as cool as the... Well... He's just cool. He's like a, a ranger, you know? And you get him for free on Witch Doctor. He's pretty solid. Doesn't have as many good hits as as, as Bonnie does, though. 
or wh whatever her fucking name is. Oh, Nausicaa. Yeah, she could be an S tier for her viability because she's still widely used in PvP. But um, she's from a bundle, and that's paid. So I would say probably better than uh, better than the Armada companions. Marquioness, the Marquioness, Marquioness, Marquioness. I think that's how you say that. Um, she'd be up there too, you know. It's kind of bothering me that I didn't see, uh, what's his face, Kobe. Kobe! Uh, tricky Vinny. <laughs> what a legend. Um... Dude, that guy has a flaming skull. That's sick. I think I've gotten all the story companions, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Monkey King is going to the Shadow Realm along with Old Scratch. So. Um, Monkey King is just a straight up disappointment. He's so annoying in the dialogue. Like he's like, hey, he's just this cocky fuck. He has no right to be like this this cocky. I mean, he's supposed to be this legendary celestial warrior, but like he's just so fucking mid in combat. Uh, he's like okay at best, at best. Whereas at least Hercules has like an epic strike. But it's just, bro. At least give him like relentless or something, you know. At least give him a, a cool ability. Like he should be able to make doppelgangers of himself, like he did in his boss fight. Like it's just, ugh. I hate Monkey King, dude. He's so annoying. Everyone hates Monkey King, and Old Scratch. He single-handedly ruined the game. The King King Tao single-handedly ruined the entire game with like one update to this one companion. Companion. <coughs> now, granted, he used to be the worst companion in the game because he would just miss every time, and he would just be shit. But then they added these mojo buffs to him, and now he's just completely broken, and he just com he, he just changed the whole entire meta in the in a bad way. Made the game completely brainless. Like all you do is you hit you click this button, and there's no strategy. You just put down blood flames or use your AOE attacks, and it just it just ruins the whole game. There's no strategy anymore. So, yeah, th those are my thoughts on Old Scratch. If you, I mean, no, no fault to you if you if you use them and uh, the various strategies in the game, you know, with bombs and everything and and the mojo. I mean, that's how you that's how you beat the game, or that's how you um, farm really fast. But. And I will use him if my team wants me to, but I have I don't really go on I don't really farm with teams very often. Um, but I'm not going to be using him on on my playthroughs because it's just stupid and broken. I feel like an idiot when I when I when I use him, or I feel like I'm cheesing the game. So that that's those are my thoughts on Old Scratch. <laughs> Uh, 
Ai, ai, ai. Uh. I would say... Mustang Sally, she's pretty cool. I'd say... Right, cool than Tonka. Yeah, cool, she has a role in the story, but, you know, she's pretty mid in combat, let's be real. Um... I just, I just wish she was better, you know? Like, maybe she should have, like, a charm ability, you know? It makes sense. <coughs> like, give every companion in the game a unique ability. Like, commit to it, you know? Or at least some kind of, a, some kind of ability. It doesn't have to be unique to their character. But... Just give them abilities, man, because that's what the game is all about. That's what the combat is. Abilities. There we go. Um... Let's see. <clears throat> I'm trying to find ones to talk about. There's Shiruku Neko. She's really cool. She's free to everybody. I would say solid... Solid A tier. Um, now, she's like, okay in combat. She's not like... Um, not like Monkey King, okay, but like she'll she'll do you in a pinch, but not like crazy good or anything. Not like meta. Um. And there is Bosun Bud. I think you have to pay crowns to get him, so. I'll put him in the top of B tier because he's pretty, like, broken. You can, like, sit in a corner and, like, shit yourself the whole time. Or it's like you, you, um, <laughs> I don't even know. Like, you can have these stars where melee guys can't reach you. It's pretty OP. I think a guy beat, uh, Blightbeard solo. With uh, with Bos and Bud, so that's pretty nice. And then yeah, I don't really have much to say right now, so I think I might pause and take a break. Oh, oh God! Hold on. Okay, so it's like the next day, and a lot of these companions I haven't really used a lot. Oh, here's Carcaria, so I should rake him. He is probably not an S tier. Um, even on Witch Doctor, he's just kind of disappointing. He really could have been such a cool companion, and he has really badass animations. Um, uh. I'm going to have to put him above the Presidio Companions. Well, honestly, like, uh, God, it's such a hard placement, man. Because, like, he's one of the better Witch Doctor Companions in the game, you know? I'll say better than Catbeard. Um... Chicken Miner. Uh, what can this guy even get? I think he is about C tier. He could have been so much cooler, though. He could have been like he could have summoned blood bats, or you know, used that projectile ability that the actual chicken miners do. That's really annoying. It's like throwing a, a bomb or like a flaming rock. Um, I'd say he's about here because I think he gets an epic strike. Let me look. Pirate 101. 
Michigan Miner. They what they need to do is add an ability to each companion and at least a promotion. You know. Yeah, Vengeance Strike. He doesn't even get a an epic strike. Dang. So he gets one. He gets one epic talent and then three more. So he can get. I'd give him Vengeance Strike three and then um, Blade Storm two maybe. Yeah. Dang, that sucks. Could have been so so much better. So I'd put him probably around here actually. Better than the uh, Musketeer guy, Crazy Monkeystador. Then Crab Hermit, that's another Swashbuckler companion. I think he gets like a crab summoning ability, so pretty cool, but again, sort of mid. Um, and then here's Eep Op Orc Ah uh, Ah. Uh. Pretty unique and cool companion, fun to use, but you know, he's a Witch Doctor companion, so he's kind of mid. Um, he's probably in B tier. And he also requires 25 runs and crowns to get, so kind of annoying. Um, cooler than Bonnie, Miss Bonnie Ann. Um, here's Hoodoo Cornelius, one of the bundle companions. Where's, where did I put Nausicaa? I put him up here. Not not higher than Nausicaa, but um, he's pretty okay. Melee Witch Doctor, though. Same thing with Doctor No. Um, I put him at like top of C tier. He's really cool. He looks cool, but like, eh, it's just okay. Here's the cutthroat guy from the bundle. I'm actually going to put this guy low because he's just generic. I think he's pretty much the same as, uh, as Finn Dorsal, except he's just from a bundle. Um, let me look this guy up actually. Uh, whoa. Hello. There we go. Actually, I should put music on. Pirate 101, Cutthroat Companion. Cutthroat Pirate. Does he not promote? You receive his final promotion, changes his appearance, but not his title. Give an additional rank of Turn the Tide. Huh. I guess the the companion page is selection at level 8. Huh. Wait, hold on. Okay, the companion page is kind of confusing for him. But yeah, I'd put him about there. Not as cool as Finn Dorsal. Actually, I'll put Finn Dorsal below Tonka, because Tonka is just more badass. Um, there's Eagle Archer. She's just okay. Definitely above Dan Drake and these guys. Um, probably about here. Um, okay, I have no idea what the deal is with this. I don't know if they're actually different companions or not, but... Then this guy, he's about the same. Probably put him about here. And then this guy actually has a heal, so he's better. Probably about there. Eric Jolly, just kind of a generic melee companion. Um, he's probably about the same tier as Masamune Goto. Goto. Um. It's another companion in the same vein. Probably this guy, too. Eric Jolly is just a nice farmhand guy. Pretty badass. Um, this guy is a disgraced samurai. He joins you. Let's see. Tyson? Tyson's actually kind of a beast. He's definitely in B tier. Um, and he's free for musketeers. So I'd, he'd probably be on the same tier as Lefty. But slightly cooler because he's based off of Tyson Chicken and Mike Tyson. Ramba is also pretty good. Not as cool as Lefty. Oh, this is a good theme right here.
This is a uh, Monquistador, or uh, what's it? What's the name? Monquisition guy. Really cool. Uh, badass looking, cool and unique animations. You don't really see this guy very often, but he's sort of mid. Uh, honestly, probably cooler than these guys. Uh, I'd say he's about here, actually. Just because. I've like never seen this guy. I think he gets him for free on Privateer. But da, da, da. Water Mole Spearman. This doesn't actually have all the companions. It's missing the uh, spooky companions, or the uh, the ones from that spooky pack. I'll put Mormo's Crown Shop variant in here. Monquistador. Um, it's definitely better than these guys, I think. Cooler. Um, Scarekeet. She's also in in the B tier. Just a unique companion, and she li she literally shits on people. Literally shits on people. Uh, best critical in the game, where the Scarekeet just shits on you. Honestly, so so awesome. This guy, the Treant. Uh, uh, honestly, super disappointing. I wish you could actually get a real Treant companion. Companion. Oh. Marmol Spearman, probably in the same tier as um this guy. Inoshishi Chief. I think he actually gets some abilities, some decent abilities. Not as cool as that guy. What's this guy's name? Like Juhao, I think. Um, you get, I think you get him for free on all classes, so that's pretty cool. Um, probably up there with Raja. Iago, free on privateers. Probably about the same tier as Frog of you. I think that you have to pay for that guy, though. There's this guy. This guy is actually insanely good because he gets an AoE uh, knife attack. Um, so he's probably be better than... Uh, he's probably on the same tier as these armadas. Not as cool as the Dragoon, though. Milo Greattail, forgot about him. He's great. On the same tier as the Presidio. Probably my favorite. He's just such a good boy. You know, he, he helps you out. He's, uh, he's really compassionate. He's definitely the nicest out of the, uh, well, I don't know. I haven't really played much with Lucky Jack, but. And there's this Kurga guy. Probably on the same tier as the other Kurgas. Um, Lieutenant Springer as well. He has really cool animations. Um, there's Necro the Inner Shishi Necromancer. Really mid. Um, but kind of cool. Um, Sky Snake. About on the same tier as uh, Batacuda. Scorpion, really mid. Um, then there's a swashbuckler guy from the. Uh, this guy can actually hide and stuff, so he's pretty fun to use. I would say um, he's up there too. The bottom of B tier, maybe. Better than the. Uh, better than Doctor No. I don't. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go through these companions really fast. Um, oh yeah, this guy, I forgot what he was called, just the Nutcracker guy, he has the same abilities as Chantel, or not the same abilities, but the same epics, um, so he's up there, I'd probably say slightly worse than the, Ar the Armada Musketeer, um, there's this guy too, about on the same tier as like Dan Drake. But he's just badass. Come on, he's like uh, the Amber Horde. The Amber Horde's badass as shit. Weasel Gambler, really disappointing companion. Um, I know you get him for free on Swashbuckler. Uh, really cool appearance and animations. Because I mean, he's a card thrower. That's that's pretty awesome. But like, he just has mid ass talents and abilities. Um, only gets the points here for being uh, 
cool. I'm kind of drowning the C tier, but that's 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 okay because that's average. Um, Yolly Jolly Roger or Holly Jolly Roger. Um, I think he's about on the same tier as these guys. I mean, he's a Troggy, so he gets points there. Um, I've never used him though. There's the Grenadier guy. This guy was really disappointing. He should have gotten like bombs or something. Um, cool animations though, so I'll put him up here. Nadia. So she, I think she gets a heal. Pretty interesting, I guess, but not too crazy. Samocles. I think free for swashbucklers. He's pretty badass, I guess. Cooler than. He should be a buccaneer though, because I'm pretty sure that's what all of the. Uh... And he should get a promotion too, but he doesn't. They literally have these models in the game. I'm gonna skip right to Marleybone. Yeah. Yeah, they have the same music in Mushu as they do in Wizard. Okay. Um, Rodolfo? Rodolfo is actually a beast. He's at least B tier. He's definitely better than uh, Hocules. Not quite as good as Bosun Bud. You get him for free on Musketeer. Uh, this guy, you get him for free on Buccaneer. It's about the same tier as uh, these guys. Should definitely get a com get a uh, promotion. Um, the Oni, another really disappointing companion. Um, cooler than the Crab Hermit because he's a freaking Oni, but uh, eh, just mid. This guy as well, he's better than Eric Jolly. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think these two companions are pretty much the exact same. Just different, just for different classes. There's Toreador. He's about on the same tier as Rodolfo. Um, there's this guy too. He's just badass. You need crowns to get him though. Um, so I'll put him below the seven. I'll put him in about this about this tier. Cooler than Fin Dorsal. I'm, no, no, Fin Dorsal gets extra points. So does Argos. This guy's kind of a beast actually. And where's his brother? Um, the brother would be on the same tier, just slightly slightly better. The flying demon. These these two companions are really cool. Um, Tricky Vinny. I honestly don't even know what talents he gets, or what is the best setup for him. So I'll put him about on the same setup as uh, as these guys. But he's cool because he's a frog. Uh -oh. Then there's the Yakuza guy. I don't know. I'm not familiar with him as much, but I think he'd be about on the same tier as Frog of you. Actually, I'll put him. I'll put him above the Inoshishi guy because he's pretty badass. Um, there's the Serpent Augur. Uh, pretty cool. About on the same tier. Well, no, not B tier. Yeah, I'd say better than Doctor No. Yeah. Because you get him for free on Witch Doctor, I think. This guy, I believe he has a charge. So I'd probably put him up here with the Armada Companions. Um, same thing with the Spirit of, en or Spirit of whatever it is. Um, not better than the Musketeer. Um, actually, the Armada Musketeer is better than this. Um, this guy is also the Cat Pirate animations, which is really cool. But uh, Holly Jolly Roger is also... No. Yeah, that's, that's that's about right. Oh, the Marines, Marines better. Um, she gets a heal, I think. Which is pretty nice. And then there's the Verminius Blightbeard. Kind of an annoying companion to get, right? Because I think you have to beat Blightbeard 25 times, right? Um, about on the same tier as uh, Bonnie. Just Bonnie is slightly cooler. Because she gets her last promo appearance. Whereas this guy, I think he, he doesn't get the same... Admiral appearances, Ratbeard. And there's uh, Sergeant Sanders, I think his name is. He's pretty good. Um, I think he gets an epic strike. He'd be about on the same tier as this guy. Yeah. 
there's this guy pretty mid. Let's see. Um, put him below the eagle archer. Same thing with this guy. Um, although this guy would be better because I think he gets trigger at three. And then uh, the last one, the last one. Holy shit! I actually made it. Is I think his name is Honest Dan. Uh, pretty okay. Put him probably on the same tier as uh, Hoodoo Cornelius, right? Or probably not as good as the uh, the spirit thing. Pretty fun to use, right? Because I think he has about the same talents as Catbeard. Probably put him there. Um, wow, that's actually it. Um, let's zoom out here. This is the final tier list. I know you can just fucking skip to the end of the video to see it, you coward. Um, but yeah, if you want to see my reasoning. But the reasoning is, is thus. So I'll, I'll just repeat it. I think I said it at the beginning, but this is just my opinion. And it's mainly just based off of like my overall thoughts of the companion, uh, their interaction with the story, um, how good they are in combat, including PvP as well. Um, now I'm not like a PvP expert or anything, but I kind of know what's good and what isn't. Um, I'm not familiar with the current meta, though. Um, so it's it's not a super intelligent or it's a decently informed opinion but this this is not going to apply to most people's rankings either because I'm ranking based on overall coolness as well not just not just uh, battle effectiveness so like all the companions in S tier are just really cool and fun to use um, A tier they're worth using B tier they're uh, interesting enough and uh, fun to use, but a lot of them, I think I included a lot of crowns companions in here, so and bundle companions. So to keep that in mind. And then C tier is just kind of average, where a lot of the companions, a lot of the, and then like the high end is like decent. Um, and this includes stuff like looks and coolness too. So the Raja guys pretty generic melee I put I put Ju Hao so high because he um, is I believe free for all classes uh -oh. so that's nice um, I probably should could change some of the rankings in here actually but I think these have a higher coolness factor than these companions at the bottom. Bottom of C tier. D tier, Nurse Quinn. She should, just could have been way better. And Jim Masterson. I probably could put more companions in D tier if I took the D tier more seriously. Because um, I, I think a lot of these lower, lower Cs could probably fit in D, but I feel like uh, I've got it where I want. I've got everything where I want them for now. Um, but yeah, Jim Masterson just basically does nothing. Uh, super generic. Actually, no, I'm going to put the Oni in D tier. Because um, he could have had some kind of cool ability, like summoning fire or something like that, you know. But he's just boring. And then the Shadow Realm is especially reserved for these two. Um, Monkey King and Old Scratch. So Monkey King, I said earlier, he just has so much lost potential. He has he has a big role in the story. He's free for everybody, but out of all of the free for everyone companions, even Catbeard like has stuff going for him, but like Monkey King is just AIDS, dude. He's so bad. And then Old Scratch is at the bottom of the barrel because uh I just don't like the way he's affected the game mechanically. Um He's fine in the story. I think he's he's pretty cool, actually, and badass and I iconic. But I just have him in the Shadow Realm because the way he has impacted the game has just been a complete negative, in my opinion. Um, now, I no no fault to anybody for using him. Um, it's just that I just think he's just badly designed. 
and that's really all there is to it. Um, so th those are my companion rankings, at least from this tier list. I don't think this this doesn't include the uh, companions from the Pirate Nightmare pack. They would probably be all, you know all in B or C tier because they're pack companions. Um, I think that's everything. That's everything I wanted to address. Let's see, can I get a Westminster Skyway? Yeah. I'll just, uh, I think I'll screen cap this. No shift S. Put it in the thumbnail. I'll see you in the next one. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.